Hey, cup pretty. We're gonna go see elephants. So we're super excited today <coughs> because we are off to play with them elephants. Um, so I did a lot of research when it came to finding an ethical company that um looked after the elephants and there was no mistreatment of them um so i we did our research and we ended up going with elephant land so i'll link their details below we also went with we booked through pm tours i'll leave that below as well make sure when you are looking to book a place that they don't ride the elephants because that's like number one kind of like warning sign is that you can still go on elephant rides um so definitely don't do that and you just want to make sure that the elephants aren't chained up or anything like that um and they don't use the hooks so my dry mango my breakfast so yeah be super careful when you're doing your research be super thorough um, cause I know that there are still quite a lot in Northern Thailand that aren't ethical that say they are. We are super excited, well, I'm so excited to go see some elephants and yeah, can't wait to give one a hug. exactly desirable um so i'm back at base camp while brady continues his hike because let's face it it's my own fault I shouldn't slip um i'm not gonna make him miss out on everything um so i'll hang around camp until everyone gets back and i'll still get to bathe the elephants and all of that so that's the main thing but definitely be careful when you're going on muddy hikes make sure you find a stick 
don't carry a camera. I think that was my fault. I was carrying my camera and I couldn't, I was more worried about getting it muddy than myself. I think it's just a sprain or a fracture. It's not broken. I can move my fingers and that. It's just a bit sore. the file or one of the files um, I really needed so I've got to redo my outro basically um, we went with elephant land they were absolutely amazing probably one of the most ethical sanctuaries that we could have visited it was perfect everyone was super friendly super lovely it was a bit of a drive to get there and you do have to go along some bumpy roads um, and they're very windy and if you're sitting in the back trailer it's a little bit more bumpy than if you're sitting in the cab um, but either way it was still super fun the elephants were absolutely beautiful um, they sit right on the edge of a national park so the elephants are actually free to roam through the national park with the wild elephants they just bring them in for when they have um, people coming to visit otherwise yeah they take them back to the national park um, they're constantly feeding them. The villagers are coming pretty much all the time, coming and going on their scooters, bringing them um, fresh food, lots of bananas. I cannot even count the amount of bananas that we fed these elephants. Um, it was amazing and as you saw, I obviously, I fell and had an accident. I landed pretty badly on my hand. so. I think I sprained my wrist. I did go and get an x-ray afterwards and I'm pretty sure it was just a sprain. Um, but I was struggling not to pass out in the mud and luckily the tour guides and the other workers that were there, they were so amazing. Made sure I was okay. They gave me a little water. Um, they also had a medical kit on hand when I got back to camp so they were able to patch me up and I still got to spend time with the elephants which was the main goal I just didn't get to finish the hike through the national park so we would 100% recommend to go and visit the elephants and spend time with the elephants whenever you're in Chiang Mai if ever you're in Chiang Mai um, we 100% would recommend going with elephant land I did so much research before we went and it did come down to I think there were two that I was tossing up on or three um, and this program was just a lot better they also do a two-day program um, which you can stay overnight at their lodgings and the next day you can help um, prepare the breakfast for the elephants that kind of thing and then they'll take you home I think it cost us about around $100 Australian each to do a full day, which in my opinion was so worth the money. Like it was such a beautiful experience and yeah, we cannot highly like recommend doing it enough. So when you are picking a elephant sanctuary to visit, just make sure that they don't allow you to ride the elephants. Also make sure that the handlers aren't using any hooks um, on the elephants and that they're not chained up or separated because that's probably 
also a really big sign that these elephants aren't being treated properly. Um, the elephants that we had were all rescues, so they were either rescued from riding camps or from the logging industry, which is unfortunately still like kind of going today. It's illegal, but it's still happening. So yeah, just make sure that you're super thorough with your research and that it's, you know, like it's cool to take a photo home of you on top of an elephant, but for the sake of the elephant's life, like it cuts off at least 20 years of their life. Elephants aren't made to be ridden, um, so any elephant riding camp is a big no-go, no. So I hope you found this video informative. I hope you really enjoyed seeing us have a little bit of a play with the elephants because we had so much fun. Um, if you did like this video, if you thought it helped a bit, if you are doing some research on where to go, um, if you want to go see the elephants, then give it a big thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe button down below as well because we do post videos of our travels when we can. Um, we have just done our Chiang Mai vlog and our Bangkok one will be up shortly. Stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, we hope you really enjoyed this video and we will see you next time.